Hi there. In this video, I'll explain how to calculate the acceleration of a trolley as it moves down a ramp. Here's an example from the 2015 National 5 paper. A student is investigating the motion of a trolley down a ramp. The student uses the apparatus shown to carry out an experiment to determine the acceleration of a trolley as it rolls down a ramp. The trolley is released from rest at the top of the ramp. The question asks, state the measurements the student must make to calculate the acceleration of the trolley. So the first thing we should really do is to visualise what's going to happen. The trolley accelerates down the ramp and at the bottom, the card attached to the trolley passes through the light gate. The time taken for the car to pass through the light gate will be displayed in the electronic timer. The diagram also shows a ruler and a stop clock. This is the equation we use to calculate the acceleration of the trolley. V is the final velocity of the trolley. It's calculated using a second equation, V equals D divided by T, where D is the length of the card measured with the ruler, and T is the time for the card to pass through the light gate. U in the first equation is the initial velocity of the trolley. The question states that the trolley is released from rest so this means that u is equal to 0 metres per second. The pupil doesn't have to measure this then. Lastly, t in the first equation is not the same as t in the second equation. In this case, it's the time taken for the trolley to accelerate from the initial velocity u to final velocity v. In other words, it's the time for the trolley to move from the start down to the light gate. So these are the three measurements which the pupil has to make. This answers the question then, but let's look at other ways the equipment could have been set up. This diagram shows a similar setup, except there are now two light gates. To calculate the acceleration of the trolley, equation 1 is still used. This time though, the second equation has to be used twice. The initial velocity of the trolley u is calculated by dividing the length of the card by the time it takes to pass through the first light gate, and the final velocity of the trolley v is calculated by dividing the length of the card by the time it takes to pass through the second light gate. The stop clock is now used to measure the time for the trolley to travel from the first light gate to the second light gate. Here's one last experiment you might have seen. The card placed in the trolley is now replaced with one which has two sections, as shown in the diagram. When the trolley moves down the slope, the card now passes through the light gate two times by dividing the length of the first section by the time taken for it to pass through the light gate, we can work out the initial velocity of the trolley U. Dividing the length of the second section by the time taken for it to pass through the light gate, we can then work out the final velocity of the trolley V. In order to calculate acceleration, we would need to know the time between the first section passing through the light gate and the second section passing through it. Unless the trolley is moving really slowly, this would be almost impossible to measure because of human reaction time. When doing this experiment in class, the light gate wouldn't be plugged into a simple timer. A device which could measure the time taken for each section of car to pass through the light gate and the time between the first and second section passing through it would need to be used. If this electronic device is programmed with the length of the section of card passing through the light gate, it can display the acceleration of the trolley without anyone needing to perform any calculation. It's still important though that you understand how the device calculates acceleration. Anyway, that's all from me for now. Thanks for listening. You can get more help with your physics by visiting my website at physics-podcast.co.uk. Subscribing to my YouTube channel will also keep you updated whenever a new video is released. Thanks very much.